everyone, Jesse McCollum here. Today we're going to take a very complicated feature, independent amplitude, break it down in a couple really simple uh, demonstrations and show you the power of this feature, how it can be helpful to you and why you want it on your next machine. We're gonna talk about independent amplitude, which is the ratio between our electrode positive and our electrode negative amps. So to start out, here is a balanced EP, so, or balanced EPEN, so 50% balance at equal amplitude. So if this is 200 amps and this is 200 amps, you know, we see we're right up here, we'll call that 190 amps electrode positive and 190 amps electrode negative. So we're perfectly balanced here. Now, you can see we're at our peaks for the same amount of time. And what I mean by that is let's say we're running one hertz, which is one waveform cycle per second. So we are at our peaks for a half second on both sides of the waveform. So we're still balanced here, but we're running a two to one amperage ratio between our EP and EN. So if we're at 190 amps electrode positive, which is our current going up to our electrode, we're only going to be running 95 amps down into our weldment. The inverse is true here, where we're still running 50% balance, so a half second at each of our peaks, but instead of 190 amps going to our electrode, we only have 95 amps, and we have 190 amps going into our base material. So now we've got a real simple breakdown of this. We're going to show you what each of these different variables does to our tungsten and to our base material. So here we are on our Typhoon 230. So to match our drawing, we've set our machine amperage at 191 amps, just because I'm superstitious with the ones. But you can see our independent amplitude is off. We're running 120 hertz and 50% balance. Now, normally I wouldn't run 50% balance, but we want to have a control variable and just to make all things equal, we're going to run 50% balance to show you the power of independent amplitude. So let's go ahead and make this equal EN EP run and we'll see the results. So here's our first run. We ran an equal amplitude for our electrode negative and electrode positive at 50% balance. So we are hanging out at our electrode positive and electrode negative peak amperages for the same amount of time and at the same amperage. So you can see in the arc shot run that the tungsten balled up quickly. It was a little bit unstable as it started to form that ball. As the ball settled out, we got a real nice run. But we also did a lot of damage to our tungsten. It's real balled up. I personally would probably resharpen this tungsten before I made another run. So now we just made our balanced E and EP run with 50% balance. So now I'm gonna go down and turn my independent amplitude on. We're gonna go over and adjust our EP to EN ratio. So to stay consistent with our drawing, we're gonna select our EP amplitude. We're gonna bring it down to 190 amps. Now we're gonna go over and select our EN and turn it down to 95 amps, giving us our two to one ratio. So now we are sending 190 amps up to our tungsten and 95 amps down to our weldment. I'm gonna throw in a fresh piece of tungsten so we can compare all three runs at the end. Let's go make another run. All right, so we just got done with our second run, still running 50% balance as our control, but running 190 amps on our electrode positive and 95 amps on our electrode negative. And so on that arc shot run, you can see it balled the tungsten up extremely quickly. It was super unstable. I think that arc wandered around so much actually caused some gas flow interruption. And that's why we had that pepper right on the start of this run it was from some interruption to the gas flow. But you can see that it really, really deformed our tungsten super quick. We're only running some 090 coupons, so I might be using 85, 90 amps to the pedal, and it just destroyed our tungsten. So now let's reset. We're going to inverse these settings, still 50% balance, 
make another run, you're gonna see a huge difference in the bead appearance and how well the tungsten lasts. We're back at the machine. I've already inversed our settings. So we are now running 95 amps electrode positive and 190 amps on our electrode negative. So we're gonna be sending now 95 amps up to our tungsten and 190 amps down to our weldment at full pedal. So let's put in a fresh piece of tungsten, make our third run, and we'll go over the results at the end. So we just got done with our third run. Still running 50% balance, but we were sending 95 amps to our electrode positive and 190 amps to our electrode negative. So you can see in the arc shot, our tungsten is super stable. It almost looks brand new still, running the same amperage, all the same variables, and our tungsten still looks perfect. The arc was nice and stable. Very clean run. So that shows you the power of independent amplitude is we didn't change any other settings, but how many amps we were sending to electrode positive or electrode negative, how big of a difference it made. So it shows you that this is a very powerful feature to use to help conserve your tungsten life and tailor your bead to what you need. All right, so here we have our three runs all side by side with the test plate, and the tungsten that was used for that run. And we got some really interesting results. I mean, it's what I expected, but it's, it's still interesting to see. So on our balanced amplitude output with a 50% balance, you saw we got a pretty decent sized ball. The arc was a little unstable as the tungsten started the ball up, but we had an equal heat input between our two sides of the waveform. Now on our 190 amps electrode positive, 95 amps electrode negative, still 50% balance run. You can see we have a much bigger ball. And I think that's due to the overall heat input was obviously biased towards the electrode positive side. So we put a lot more heat into our tungsten on this run than we did on this first run. On the last run, you can see our tungsten almost looks brand new. We had a, still had a nice clean run. It was super stable and our tungsten I mean, it looks like we just pulled it off of our sharpener. So in a production setting or in a longevity of your tungsten life setting, you can get a lot more life out of your tungsten without resharpening, running less electrode positive amplitude, and you can maintain a nice tip, a nice stable arc for a lot longer time. Now we ran these with eighth inch tungsten. That's what I like for aluminum, but these results are even more exaggerated when you go down in tungsten size. So if you're running a 332 tungsten at 200 amps, you can actually get it to run like this last run for a long time. So you can lay down a lot of weld with a smaller tungsten and keep a nice sharp tip on there. So that's why independent amplitude is a very powerful tool. All right, so for these demonstrations, we were running our brand new Typhoon 230. Some of you guys might've seen it. Some of you probably even haven't even heard of it yet. It's our brand new machine. It's a very, very powerful piece of equipment. We've got independent waveform, independent amplitude. Um, we've broadened all of our adjustment ranges. Uh, we've gone to a high voltage board instead of a high frequency board. So we have a solid state start, no more points adjustments, no more maintenance on your points. With this machine, we're gonna be releasing a whole bunch of content going over how powerful it is, uh, the range of adjustments, the features on it, what they can do for you, how they can improve your welds and your production. And we're going to be doing that via a big live stream event with myself, Mark Winchester, Frank Fluoroquin, and I think even Jason Becker might join us for a podcast about the machine. This is a big step for Everlast, and it's really going to put us at the top of the market and be competitive with the big names. So be on a lookout for the Typhoon. It's on the website for a pre-order. Check it out. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'd be more than happy to explain it to you. I'm Jesse McCollum. This is Everlast Welders. Remember to weld mean, weld green.